Getting Started, A Presentation on Urbanization One Lan and Nam are discussing the plan for their presentation on urbanization. Listen and read. Hi, Lan. Hello, Nam. Do you know if our geography teacher has fixed the date for our presentation on urbanization? It's next Friday. It's time we finalized the content. How long should we talk? Well, it is recommended that the presentation be no more than 15 minutes. There is also a 5-minute Q&A session. Well, we'd better work together or we might not prepare well for it. You're right I think we should start with the definition of urbanization and perhaps mention some of its causes, such as lack of resources in rural areas and better work opportunities in urban areas. I agree. But before we provide the definition, we should show some thought-provoking photos to illustrate urbanization in our country. Visuals will grab the attention of our audience and keep people engaged. That's a great idea. I'll start looking for some interesting images. What about the body of our presentation? We have a lot of information. Yes, there's a lot to say, but I suggest that we focus on its advantages and disadvantages. I agree. We should also provide some examples. Yes, this will help listeners to understand our points better. Our geography teacher also advised that we talk about issues that are familiar and important to our classmates. So, do you think we should stick to urbanization in Vietnam? Well, this should be the main part as our audience will be very interested in knowing more about it but we could also mention urbanization in well-known places like the UK and USA where most of the population now lives in urban areas. Yes, it's important that we talk about how developed countries have solved the urbanization problems and propose some solutions to those in Vietnam. That would be interesting but it would make our presentation too long. We shouldn't overload people with information or else they'll just switch off. We could instead mention some solutions and government initiatives in the conclusion. Well, is it really necessary that we include new information in the conclusion? We should just summarize the main points. Okay, but we still need to do some research on the solutions. People may ask us during the Q&A session. I agree. So, shall we start creating the PowerPoint slides then and...